Hey guys, so I was on Reddit and I read a thread about uh, Seb. Seb is a artist and how Magic is doing its Dusk Morn, which is a horror set and the artwork that is in Magic the Gathering at least most attributed to horror, some of the greatest Magic the Gathering artwork is due to Seb. Now why are we watch looking at this? Seb is no longer working for Wizard of the Coast. The I don't know how, how I don't know how to classify them, but they have banned him, just like they banned Teresa Nielsen for his views at the time on vaccination, and this was during COVID. So because he did not want to get vaccinated, he was viewed as a anti-left or I don't I don't even know how to say it. So uh, basically, his opinions were not aligned with what Wizard of Coast would like its artists to have their opinions be aligned with. Very, very simple to understand, very simple to kind of figure out that, yes, indeed, this thing is happening. And at the end of the day, he does have some of the most beautiful artwork that I thought would fit perfectly for Duskmorn. Duskmorn, I don't know how many Monday effing horror sets we need. But uh, it's going to be sad to not see his work, artwork featured in, in this type of product, given how beautifully haunting it is. And you know, here's some screenshots of the artwork and so on. It's really great artwork, and it's got that feel, right? It feels like Dusk Morin would, had he not been anti-vax, he would have been commissioned a ton. They would have been, hey, how many can, of these cards can you do for us? We want all of them. So Duskmorn, House of Horror. Uh, as you know, I am taking time off from playing Magic, so I'm not going to buy it. Uh, I've already told. I still have my distribution contract until October 31st, which is uh, Halloween, surprisingly. And so my distribution, I just got a message. Uh, hey, do you want to buy this? I said no. Oh, here's a picture of Deshaun Watson <laughs> on the channel. You know, the uh, quality of the channel has gone even lower. I can't even be uh, bartered to uh, take this picture out. So we'll just have the Sean Watson, uh, a picture of him, uh, recent allegations. I, I don't know how the hell he got into this. Man, I, maybe the photo was named wrong. Maybe the photo was named House of Horrors. Oh, here's another picture of Deshaun. Holy shit, how many pictures of Deshaun Watson do I have? Oh, man. Where, how did he get in here? I, I'm starting to wonder... How Deshaun snuck in. I don't even see these pictures in the photo. Yeah, I don't see these pictures in the photo. So I'm wondering how did he even get in here. Okay, well, okay. Back to Dusk, Dusk Morn. The pre-release is September 22nd. Oh, that's Sunday pre-release. I don't know who the hell goes to Sunday pre-release. And it's got that vibe to it. And you know what? I think it is a, a shame. It is a shame that instead of hiring the most qualified individuals for the job, they hire people who are based on politics. Politics. And without um, no too much into it, obviously his politics did not align with what Wizards of the Coast wanted at the time. And that's why he's not being asked to produce more artwork. Same with Teresa Nielsen. I think Teresa Nielsen is even more outrageous because it wasn't even like her posting. It was her liking other people's posts or her following certain people. As I've always said, you know, humans are, there's a duality, right? You can like what they say here, but hate what they say there. You can like their stance on immigration, but hate their physical responsibility stance, right? You can like that they want student loans, but hate that they want to give everyone credit cards, right? Um, there is a duality of this, and it is really a shame. I think it is probably the most shameful thing is uh, when you you cannot put aside your differences in belief and uh and just enjoy the art like art should be art you know some of these artists like van gogh are like bonkers insane people right he cut off his ear obviously everyone knows that but there are a lot of other stories i can't even mention on youtube about van gogh and other artists right because you have to be a little crazy to do artwork um you know and and it's not like you know Teresa Nielsen or seb did anything particularly bad onto the level of noah bradley 
Remember Noah Bradley confessed that he was like a serial predator? Remember that? And then he had to delete his confession. Oh, I didn't mean that. So, you know, it's like, okay, well, Noah Bradley, right? He was allowed to make cards for a long time. And, and now we're, we're having to having Noah Bradley. Like he's still making cards for magic. I don't know. I, I don't care. But yeah, back to uh, the point uh, I'm trying to make. It's it's a very sad point where your political affiliation, your political beliefs can get you canceled so much effing fast in this society. And it's sad. You know, it is sad as we see this uh, very poorly designed, not, not that Seb did a bad job. I did a bad job because I copied and pasted uh, free pixel, you know. <laughs> Uh, yeah, in case you want to know what's happening, we moved on to the other channel. Maybe we're still making videos every day on this channel, but we're, we're probably not going to do double Monday videos, double videos on Monday. It's just not, you know, it's not, eh. Let's just say that it's, it's not as fun anymore, and I have a much bigger channel, and we live stream on that channel, and it's like a lot more fun. But to get canceled for this is really bizarre. And I will say it this way, it is so bizarre that I think people really need to look at themselves for buying the, this card game and understand that, hey, your political beliefs, you know, if you don't agree with Seb, maybe you have a different political belief than other people. Oh, here's Autumn. Again, a uh, Autumn thing, right? Teresa Nielsen. Yikes. Um, I'm not a huge fan of Autumn. I don't even think she's a real magic player. Or they them, sorry, they them. It's, I mean, a lot of people here are only playing magic because they want fame, they want money. It is a beautiful piece of artwork. Like, this would be perfect for Dustmorn. This style would be perfect for it. But unfortunately, the dude has been uh, banned, right? He's been banned, hammered. And you look at the, some of the shitty stuff that, like, Ava Chris Tyson and all. I mean, you, you look at this stuff and you're just like, why, why is there, like, a different standard for individuals who identify uh, a certain way than there is for, you know, all individuals should be held to the same standard, right? And that's if you can produce good artwork uh, and you're not, like, a predator like Noah, then you should be able to release magic. I mean, people love his cards. They're so beautiful. Uh, in a very haunting way, and this is his opinion. He's allowed to have his opinion, right? And he's been banned from, from Magic the Gathering. In fact, they've actually replaced his artwork. So Seb McKinnon is his name. If you want to support him, I'm sure he would appreciate that. Same with uh, Teresa Nielsen. Shout out to Teresa. It is a very sad world, world that we live in right now. It is a very sad, sad place we live in because we should, ha people should have opinions and they should be able to discuss them. We can't.